Okay, so question number two. What is the electronegativity of oxygen? So first, let's define what electronegativity is. It is the uh, the capability of an atom to attract an electron. Okay, so for oxygen, we can look at a periodic table that shows all the different electronegativity values. So here's one for example. You can see that oxygen's is 3.5, which is relatively high. So 3.5, if we compare it to the other values, is pretty high. And you'll see that the highest electronegativity value is fluorine, which is 4. So because oxygen has a high electronegativity value, this has a great effect on some substances that contain oxygen, and the most notable is like water. So here is a molecule of water, which everyone knows to be H2O. Because oxygen is more electronegative than our hydrogens, uh, it attracts the electrons uh, more than the hydrogens do. So this causes a dipole moment in a water molecule. And oxygen, uh, since it pulls the electrons more, than the hydrogen, there's an uneven sharing of electrons. So this causes a partially negative side of water and the hydrogens being po partially positive. So this is why water is polar. Due to electronegativity, of oxygen. And the hydrogens aren't electronegative enough to balance out uh, oxygen. And uh, the fact that there are the two lone pairs makes the water molecule bent. So that's why it's not symmetrical and why water is polar. Okay, so the junior tutor said that electronegativity is a term coined for the capability of an element to attract an electron density to them. In the periodic tables, the electronegativity value of each element is given. Well, yeah, in some periodic tables, it can just be given. And you can see that as you go right, or as you go up on the periodic table, the electronegativity increases. This is because the elements on the right tend to take away an electron when they form a bond for them to achieve stability. Using the periodic table of elements, the electronegativity value for oxygen is around 3.44. Okay, so the solution is correct. So depending on uh, what you use as a reference, uh, you might get slightly different electronegativity values. So you can tell that this one here is a little more accurate than the table that I used, which kind of like rounds the values. So it just depends on which reference you use. But this solution is still correct.